that he would use his really wicked days, Fanta Abadi, my state Fanta, Oklahoma. Tuahe Tamaji there, Tineke Ganke, he that day at me. With the hand, with the hand. Judy is my true name. I'm a Ponto woman from Oklahoma. So the good day that you've brought us together. I've just been looking forward to this. And I'm grateful to be among you. Thank you. And thank you. There's a time that as a mother, as a grandmother, as a great-grandmother, as a sister-daughter, auntie, a descendant, and also as the one that's waiting for those generations to come. That time has been part of my life from the beginning, from when my grandfather and grandmother and elders were forcibly removed from our homelands in Nebraska, now called Nebraska, South Dakota, into those warm lands where there were imprisoned on reservations and told that their lives were not worth anything. At that time, we weren't even considered human beings in the eyes of the law. That came later in 1877, when a relative, a chief, standing bear of the Ponca, escaped with 37 other Ponca women and children to take the bones of his child who died on that trip, where one in three of us died at the hands of the cavalry, where one in three of us died because of insufficient food, because they took our seeds, our hunting equipment, where they imprisoned our men, where they couldn't even defend us anymore, took their weapons away from them. In that time, when they were trying to annihilate us, when genocide was full-blown, that was a time <clears throat> that we couldn't gather like this, that we couldn't raise our voices to defend our own, when we weren't even considered human beings until a court case happened up there in Nebraska in 1877-78, where a Ponca was the first native deemed a human being in the eyes of the law. And here we are today, with the law turning a blind eye to our missing and murdered women, children, brothers, elders. When we die, when we are killed, when we are missing, is there a database? Now part of this is just being a grandma sitting at home watching a, one of the TV shows and a, and a woman went missing on that show. She was Asian. And they looked at their database for Asian Americans. And I thought, gosh, where's ours? Where's ours? Wakanda Kube. Maja Kube. Great Spirit, Earth Mother, we're pitiful. We're just pitiful human beings trying to make a way forward for our children, for our great-grandchildren, and way, way, way down the road, as our ancestors did for us. On this day, we gather in the name of so many. Look inside our hearts, our spirits, our minds, and find those pictures of the loved ones in our hearts. Find their spirits that are wandering or have made it home. Help us to gather our energies around them. My own little relative, Charles Star Warrior, was murdered just 10 days ago. He's still looking for his way home, but we know he's there in the Star Nation with his daughter with his grandma and grandpa and those that love him. But those of us left behind, take care of us on this day. Join us with intention, with love, with power, with direction. Help us to remember all of those behind bars, 
Those missing and murdered that include those behind bars like Leonard Peltier. Those missing and murdered include all of those thousands and thousands and thousands on the forced removals. Those missing and murdered include the boarding school children that still never made it home. Those missing and murdered include the nameless ones who disappeared when gas and oil was discovered and the man camps moved through our ways. Those missing and murdered include those who got lost in alcohol and drugs until their very disappearance happened of their spirit. And Dari Wakanda, Wakanda Khube, Manja Khube, pity us, help us, feel the power of those spirits that are guiding this gathering, that are guiding the days to come so that gatherings like this will not need to be happening again. We say thank you to the purifying wind of the white wolf of the north as it comes and helps these spirits move us into the right direction. Give us peace among ourselves. Give us unity among ourselves. Bless those without homes. Bless those without food. Bless those without loving arms around them. And bless our precious unborn, that they could come into a place of being that is healthy and balanced. As we move towards that, Bless even those who have committed those crimes so that they could be held accountable within the realm of the spirit nation, within their own hearts and souls, and be healed so that something like this can never, never happen again. I uphold the name of Malisha Grass, my beautiful little granddaughter who was murdered. I uphold the name of those in my heart that don't need for me to say them right now, that the relatives are saying them at home. I ask, Father, Son, as your strength grows today, that the strength of this prayer grows, and that all of the unspoken prayers that are out among you right now become a power to join us all together on this sacred day. And thank you for this day. I thank you for the food. I thank you for the water. I thank you for the poor like skin, stone people, creepy crawlers, those that fly, and so much more. Because they are missing and murdered too. And they are our relatives. For all things in all directions. With the hunt. Thank you. Shanti.